I read an article last night about how Twitter is slowly dying. Now people arrive at conclusions like these by analyzing data and comparing it to other things. Twitter clearly isn't dead. That bird's been tweeting since I've walked outside. People like to analyze how much time other people spend on apps and websites and other things that are constantly evolving. But to me, writing a whole article about how Twitter is slowly dying is just a really long-winded way of saying, I don't want to do this anymore because other people aren't doing it. Could have just tweeted that. But it's a social media. I get that. However, it's still basing what you do on what a bunch of other people are doing or not doing. Even quotes written about how Twitter is dying in the article were taken from Twitter. Come on. There's something to be said for doing something just because you want to do it. A lot of people write music that no one listens to. Doesn't mean music's dying. I did it for years. I think Twitter will exist in some form or another as long as people keep having ideas and an extra second to jot them down and the desire to share them with a bunch of other people. Also, I could be wrong about all this and still care just as much. I guess my point is people spend way too much time always looking at numbers. Numbers go up and down. That's what numbers do. That's the nature of numbers. The problem is that as soon as they start to dip, a bunch of other people want to jump on and be the first to say that that thing is dying. Imagine if doctors had that much pride. Oh, he doesn't look too good. Uh, dying! Called it! For example, if me and one other friend still used AIM, it wouldn't be dead because we'd still be Americans instantly messaging each other. But we don't, because no one uses it anymore and it's stupid. Take everything you read with a grain of salt, and then try to cut sodium out of your diet because I read that that's bad for you. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet that. Okay, so if Twitter's dying, I'd like to be the first to announce the rebirth of the following things. Having followers being a creepy thing. People saying pound sign. Being present during live events or television shows. Uh, looking up during awkward social situations. Actual conversation. Guys, my name is Mike Falzo and I put new videos out every Tuesday and every Friday. You can watch them if you want. If you want.